Lisa, Lisa, this person I need. I need an audience. I'm, I'm rehearsing this song for Colton's show. Uh, no, I don't think so, Terry. Oh, oh, it, really, it's no big deal. I, I'll make it easy on you. I'll give you coffee here. No, you got to I'm really, I'm not in the mood right now, Terry. Oh, really, uh, please, I just, I just gotta uh, get the bugs out of Here. Something's bothering you, right? Um, hold, hold on, my dear. Hello? Hi, is Felicia there? Oh, hi, Colton. Uh, it's Terry. Um, Felicia, no, no, she's not here. I didn't see her. Uh, I was rehearsing in the kitchen, and, and I would have seen her come in. Okay, uh, thanks. Uh, listen, when she comes in, could you please have her call me? It's very, very important. I need to talk to her, okay? Uh, she can reach me at the church. Okay, if I see her, I'll tell her uh, you're at the Old Seaman's Church. Thank you. Thank Bye. you. Um, Colton giving you a problem? Turns out that he's not such a saint after all. Um, I cannot believe we're talking about the same Colton Shore here. Uh, I mean, I realize no guy on earth, um, is a saint. But Colton's special. Now, well, let's, <laughs> let's see me to move on you. Did he, uh, no, you couldn't have done it. I mean, I, I was under the impression that you two were friends. Friends? Men do not have friendships with women. Well, sure, they, they talk like they do. They talk to women like they're friends. They do favors for women, but then they want to possess you. He did make a pass at you. He's a child and he's a hypocrite. Oh, but they're always there to put those big, strong arms around you and always there to give you that macho advice. <sighs> but then they expect to get paid for it. They expect to get paid? No, it's more than that. Well, I'm all ears. When I found out that Frisco was presumed dead, naturally, I got very upset and hysterical, and oh. I ran out of here. And Scott was here. He saw the whole thing, and he followed me. Oh, so, so it's Scotty. No, it's no, not, no, no, no. Scott is fine. He followed me. He comforted me. He, he put his arms around me, and, and, and he walked me back here. Well, wait a minute. Well, what does Colton have to do with this, though? I found out that he saw Scott and I down on the docks, and he assumed, he just assumed that we were having some kind of romance. You know, that just really makes me mad. He knows how I feel about Frisco. All this time I thought we were friends, and I find out that he, we're, I'm just, I, I'm just a woman to him. Well, Felicia, he, he can see you as both, unless he made a move on you. Uh, hold, hold on. Who is it? Colton. Uh, 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 oh. I'm really sorry to keep bothering you like this, but I need to talk to Felicia. I was kind of hoping that maybe she'd have come in since we last talked. I haven't seen her. Um... Why don't I give you a call uh, if I see her come in? Actually, I think I'd kind of like to hang out here until she comes back, if that's all right, if you don't mind. Uh, oh, no, no, I don't mind at all. Um, you know what? Uh, why don't I just uh, play you the song that I'm going to sing for the show? And... That'd be great, really, yeah? but um, I don't think I'd be a very good audience right now. You look like you need an audience, actually. <laughs> Got anything... Want to say? Well, yeah, actually. But uh, I've been selfish enough about myself lately. I... Just, uh... Uh, I'm willing to listen. Really. It's not terribly interesting. I mean, I just acted like a complete jerk when somebody needed me to be their friend. Well, Felicia, right? Yeah. I mean, that's why I've been trying to get a hold of her. I, I need to apologize. Colton, she thinks really highly of you. I'm sure she would forgive you. I don't know how forgivable it is when a friend fails another friend. Oh, come on, that doesn't sound like you. Yeah, well, it is. Or it was. You know, I don't think you would have liked the Colton Shore of a few years back. And unfortunately, Felicia met that guy and got hurt by him. Listen, I've, I've taken uh, up enough of your time. Uh, I'm sorry. No, 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 no,
don't know. I don't mind at all. Really. I appreciate that. Honestly, I do. But I just can't sit still right now. I gotta do something. I think maybe if I just walk, maybe I'll run into her someplace. I don't know. Maybe I'll get lucky. Uh, Colton. Yeah. If I see her, do you want me to tell her that you apologize? More than that. I want to make it up to her. Okay, I'll tell her. Thanks. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Coast is clear. Did you hear? I heard. I think he means it. Well, I thought so too before. Why don't you wait a little while and uh, give him a call later and give him a chance to apologize? Oh, I don't know. Maybe I just can't face him right now. And I know something else. I can't face that lonely apartment either. Well, well, well. Hello, Bright Eyes. I work late because I'm inefficient. What's your excuse? I was out for a walk. I saw your car. Mm. I was wondering about you. I'm afraid there's no change there. How about your situation? Nothing yet. And what's that supposed to mean? I'm going back to Washington to see Kenley again. Oh, come on, Felicia. <laughs> we already told you it's not going to do you any good. But these guys are playing it very close to their chest. That's their problem. I might have to live my life as a widow. I'm not going to live it as a question mark. I'm going to find out where Frisco was last seen. Well, they're not going to tell you that either. Because bureaucrats don't like to have their feet put too close to the fire, and the WSB bureaucrats fight back very effectively. Well, so can I. I told Kinley I'd go to the press if I had to. Oh, come on. I, I, I already told you you shouldn't do that. You can't do that. Oh, yes, I can. If I can get the information I need out of Kinley in the privacy of his own office, I'm going to the National Press Club. Oh, that's terrific. You know, you're going to be way out of your league down there. I mean, these people fight dirty. I mean, really dirty. Well, then help me, Sean. Give them another call for me, please. <sighs> All right, all right, all right, all right. I guess there are a few doors down in Washington, D.C. I can still open. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's something as secret mm -hmm. as this. All right, I'll fly down there. I'll, uh, I'll look around. I'll talk to a few people. I'll see if I can drum up any leads. Mm -hmm. Great, that's fantastic. Thank you. Okay. Now, let's see. We can put together what you uncover, and then we'll put it together with uh, what I get out of Kenley. Whoa, 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 whoa. The deal is that I go down to Washington, D.C. alone, and you stay here. No, then it's no deal. I'm not going to sit around here and wait like I always do. I'm in this, with or without you. Is that right? <sighs> all right, all right, all right, you're in. But we play it my way. Otherwise, a lot of people are going to get hurt, including you. Deal? It's a deal. Okay. When do you want to start? I'm down to Washington as soon as this crisis with Cheryl is over with. Does that meet with your approval? Oh, of course. Mm, good. Better get back to the hospital now. You want to walk down with me or what? No, I'm going to stay here and work on some files. Good night, then. Good night. Tiger.